Hello students. So this is the new topic that is projection of planes. So first we can see the basics of the planes. Uh, first the planes. What are the plane types? Or I mean, first of all, we have to know what is plane. Plane is nothing a surface. So for example, we can consider this as a square plane. So look at here, this is a sheet. This is a paper sheet. So I just cut into square and shape. So this is all the sides are equal. So how many sides it has? Side it has it has four sides. How many corner it has? It has four corners. So this is one kind of plane. Another one plane. This is a triangle. This is an equilateral triangle. Here, look at here. There are three sides and three corners. So here, this is also a thin in shape. So it has edges, corners, and surfaces. Both the surface. So the edges means three edges, three corners and two surface it has. So look at here, this is a pentagonal uh, plane. So pentagonal means, penta means it is a five. So it has five sides and five corners. That means five edges, five corners and uh, surface. So look at here, this is, the, this is the edge or side we can say it as. Another one way, it is, this is also called as, the, all the planes will be called as uh, lamina or surface or the planes right sheets like that again this is a rectangular in shape this is rectangular in shape look at here this is the basic concept the rectangular is there are two lengthy edges and two shorter edges there are two longer edges and two, two shorter edges it is thin in shape uh, thickness is there right next this is a hexagon hexagon means here you can see uh, there are six sides six sides these six sides are equal uh, and next it has six edges and six corners so these are the sides so before entering into a problem so we have to understand uh, how it is being drawn in orthographic projection so in orthographic projection so for orthographic projection I have taken this uh, first angle first angle model here so this is for example i have taken this rectangular plane so look at this rectangular plane when this is being uh, resting on the ground with what it is resting it is resting with its surface now normally it will be resting with its surface next while it is seeing from the top view this is the top view when, while seeing from the top view you can see the full surface you can see the full rectangular surface okay leave it suppose in case it is resting on vp on with its surface means if it is resting on vp with its surface means while seeing from the top view you can see only a line we can see only a line will be seen that means the longer edge will be seen and while seeing i just i am going to tilt it while seeing from the front view while seeing from the front view only you can able to see the full size so this is the way uh, before entering into the orthographic projection, we have to understand uh, the ba basic things. So uh, there are some of the questions we need to ask. What are the questions we need to ask? It is, uh, first of all, for a plane. For a plane, uh, first we have to understand uh, where it is resting on. Where it is where it is resting. What is this question? Where it is resting means whether it is resting on horizontal plane or vertical plane. So that means whether it is resting on horizontal plane or vertical plane. This is the first question we need to ask. And the second question will be with what it is resting. With what it is with what it is resting. What is this question? This, this is, here we have the plane like this. In this plane, here we have the edge and here we have the corner and here we have the longer edge, here we have the shorter edge for a rectangle. In case for a, pentagon, a pentagonal uh, plane means here we have all the sides are equal. So here the sides, edges are there and our five corners are there and which corner or with, with which edge or any one of the edge, so with what it is resting, that is the thing here. Suppose in case it is resting with one of the uh, edge a pentagonal plane it is resting with resting on hp the question is 
resting on HP or VP. So, okay, so we have taken as v, uh, HP, it is resting on the horizontal plane, okay, it is resting with uh, its one of its edge base, uh, sorry, one of its edge it is resting. So, it will be edge uh, rest like this, it can be rest in this way, in this order, anywhere, it can be resting. So, this is the way. In case it is resting on VP means, so it can be rest with any one of the thing, right, like this order. Here it can be rest. So, this is the two questions we have asked. Next, the dimensions. Dimensions of the plane. So, it will be given and it can be clearly drawn. Next, how it is resting. How it is resting means, so in case it is resting like this. It is resting in this way means uh, the one of the edge is perpendicular to VP. You can also say the same edge is perpendicular to VP or same edge is inclined to VP. So that it can be easily positioned. So that this is the plane problem. So these are the basic questions here we need to ask. So this after asking this only we can enter into the problem. So uh, look at here uh, we can see the one by one question here. Just I have taken this uh, uh, plane first angle projection uh, here this this is a base solid base plane it is resting on HP okay it is resting on HP now it is slowly tilted and the surface will be inclined 30 degree to HP so which one is the surface the surface will be so slowly tilted why I am tilting in this order here in the question also it is all said it is resting with one of the side it is resting with one of the side this is a side it is resting, this is a side here, this is a side, this is in this side, it is resting like this. So, slowly tilted. Now, looking from here, I can easily say, this is a front view. Why? While seeing in the front view, it is, the surface is inclined. Now, this angle is inclined what? 30 degree. Surface is inclined with HP and the surface is perpendicular to VP. And the surface is perpendicular to VP. So, this is inclined to one plane. In case the same surf, uh, inclined uh, resting edge is 30 degree inclined to HP, mm, sorry, 30 degree inclined to VP. So, how it can be proceed? That is the second uh, inclination. So, these are the things, basic things we need to understand. So, here what are the solid uh, planes are there? So, whatever the so, uh, planes here we have to keep in mind. So, look at here another one, same thing. See, here uh, this is the basic rectangle uh, here they have given the dimensions clear dimension they have given and here this is the shorter edge here this is a shorter edge and and after tilting but here the surface inclination angle they have not given uh, this is look at here this is an uh, rectangle after inclination just i am tilting it one side now this from, from by seeing from the top view you can see if this is been formed as a square by here this is the angle inclination they have not given by just tilting itself it is being seen as a from the top view it is seen as a square this is by the top view in case it is resting on VP in this way so now it is been slowly tilted in this order so by seeing in the front view now it is seen as a square the square means all the sides are equal. Already the shorter edge we are knowing, shorter edge length we are knowing. So the square size also, uh, dimension also we can easily understand. So like this the question will be given. So this is a basic concept before entering into the planes. We need to understand these all the things. Thank you.